Well, you want these are straight to back with another deck of you. This is the Voltees Limited Edition deck from Dan and Dave. I only have the blue one because that's all that came in the variety box. There were, there's a red one, but haven't been able to get my hands on one. Um, it was also supposed to be a white one that was teased around Christmas time, but no sign of that one as of yet. The front of the box says Voltees on this hot air balloon, which is attached to a hand holding a club. There is a reveal for you. There's a bunch of birds. Oh, blue foil, which is pretty cool. Voltees is embossed. It says playing cards. Designed by Henry de Saint Tuyen and Zach de Main on one side. And the DD playing card company on the other side. And seagulls or whatever all over the place. Top, nothing much. Bottom, the Art of Play logo and Art of Play. And some Art of Play info. It's really hard to read with this light. Nothing important anyways. The back is just a bunch of birds, seagulls, whatever. Seal is a snap type seal. It says designed by J and H. But I heard in the club there. This side spade in a diamond. It says playing cards. Here it says distributed by D&D. &D, and here. Hand shuffled by you. <laughs> and then on the flap, nothing. The original version of the Voltees. Um, had a lot of people that were not too happy about it. Because it was a. Weird side opening tuck case, similar to the private reserve deck, which there's not many complaints about because I guess people aren't opening them. But, um, it was similar, I guess it was different though, but it was just not the best design. A lot of people were not happy about it, and I guess maybe the way it was done, you had to whip the cellophane off completely <coughs> in order to open it, and there was just a lot of uh, backlash re resulting from it. So I guess they decided to correct that with a limited edition. Nothing on the flaps. So inside there is a ad card here. Which amazes my card. I'll quickly go through it, even though I've done it in the other deck. Just did you know that a deck of 52 cards is based on the Gregorian calendar. 4 colors for the 4 seasons, 12 court cards for the 12 months, 52 cards for the 52 weeks. All the symbols on a deck. Of 52 or equal to 365 for the 365 days of the year. That's if you count all the pips. The total of each color is 91. Jacks, Queens, and Kings are equal to 11, 12, and 13. 91 multiplied by the other four colors, or sorry, multiplied by the four colors, equals 364. One additional point is then added for the Joker, that equals 365. <coughs> Um, and it says, and that basically just goes back to this one. <coughs> and it says a classic deck has two jokers, bringing the total value to 366 for the leap years. And there's a little V on the bottom. The other side is the same, except all I'm trying to say. You did get a ad card. It says, Le Corps Marseille, Le Sprit Voltiz, uh, La Entour. Which <clears throat> something about flying like a bird. <laughs> the the back design is exactly the same as the previous versions. Um, the portal looks a little bit thick, but that's because you got these details in the corner. But basically, <clears throat> um, I apologize. It's Again, let's say there's hot air balloons holding the hands. It is a one-way design because they're different, as you can see. One is holding the card and the other one's taking it. And it's kind of like a table and it's got cards spread out all the way around it. Which also makes it a one-way design. It's pretty interesting. That's for sure. But Joker, if you get this one, it says Joker in here. And it's just a bunch of cards spread out all over the place. And this one says Joker on top, and there's cards coming down or going up, really. There it goes like this, I don't know. Making a J, basically. The aces are all 
ones, as you can see. And there's actually a bird in the corner. There's a bird. This one has one. If you go to the eight, they won't have eight birds. You know, the five won't have five birds, etc., etc. And actually, it tells you what it is, and except that's Franz Oz, the peak. And this one is the Oz the Courier. And then you get this special one. It's the club. Instead of the spades, it says Voltees. It's got a spread of cards on there with the club pip, and it says designed by Henry de Saint Julian as Zuck. The main, distributed by DD Point Card Company, hand shuffled by you. And then Oz the Caro. I find this in the best court cards. Um, I'm just going to show you a few. Again, you can check out my previous review if you want to see more. I was going to show you all of them, but I figured, eh, been there, done that. <laughs> so, all the court cards are front style. They actually look like the ones on my videos, they pretty do that. Don't ask, there's none available. Um, this one is David, and it says it's Roi de Pique, which is king of spades, obviously. A spade within the corners. This one, La Hire, the Valet de Coureur. Alexander, Rod de Truffler. And Rachel, Dame de Carreau. And they're all based on the, you know, the actual figures of the court cards, old school style. All the number cards, as you can see, tell you what it is. It says De. Uh, this one is Cis. And it actually it says Six. This one is Set. And I'm not going to go for them, but I definitely got to show you this one. The Four is Weird. Quatra. Quatra. You see? You know, it's got the Four Birds in the Index. So that's another way of looking at the value, but I don't know why the Four's like that. Like that. They're weird. I don't know, you can use that as a gaff card maybe, <laughs> but that's the way it is. It's not a misprint. The previous deck was like that too. Um, <clears throat> probably won't worry too much about rating it because I've already done that in the previous one. But I do like the faces. I said court cards, old school style, French style. I, I think, you know, how they did the number of cards and aces and everything is pretty interesting. The back design is pretty interesting, albeit a one way back design. And that is that. Printed by USB C Bicycle Stock, Eric and Venice. <clears throat> I'd probably say three and three quarters for the back. The faces probably four and a quarter. Might have been a bit higher if the if the fours weren't so weird. And handling wise, I would say you know good four and three quarters, four and a half out of five. Whatever, um, pretty good, good solid deck. Obviously, it's pretty usable except that it does have a one way back design and the fours are a little bit weird. That is that, and of course it's got friends all over it. <laughs> but anyways, that is that. If you do like the Voltees, and you don't like the top faces from the first edition, you can try to get your hands on these ones. Available in the variety boxes while quality remain. I don't know if this will be available by the time this video is made public sometime in March or April, whenever it's going to be. Who knows? I got so many reviews. That's that. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check out collectiblepointcards.com and cardporn.com. Links in the description with discount codes and all sorts of information. That's that. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.